So I recently went to this store that sells a lot of budget or cheap stuff. You might know it, you might have heard of it. It's called Five Below. Now the great thing about Five Below is that there's a huge section just for tech. Now you're gonna find a bunch of budget accessories there, just a lot to choose from. And even though the name is Five Below, most of it's above that $5 price tag. There are some things way above that $5 price tag, but still about $5 for a phone case or a charger, that's not too bad. So I grabbed a few that I thought were really interesting. I'm gonna unbox them now, test them out, see if they're actually worth that really low $5 price tag. And I'm actually gonna compare two of them to the Apple made versions of that accessory that they're kind of competing with. So let's get started. So let's start with the Bytech Magnetic Wallet. So obviously this looks like a MagSafe leather wallet that Apple sells, right? The $60 MagSafe wallet, which isn't cheap. This one actually only cost $4. It was marked down to $4, which is pretty great. Full disclosure, all of these accessories were under $6. This one was about $5.55, and so was this three-in-one charging stand. So none of these accessories were overly expensive or anything like that, but this $4 MagSafe wallet or magnetic wallet was the cheapest out of the three. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get for $4. I mean, $4, obviously it's not made with real leather like the Apple made version is. Premium faux leather material, it says there on top. It even mentions here on the top, works best with MagSafe phone cases. So it's pretty much a wallet with magnets in it to compete with the MagSafe wallet from Apple. Let's open this up. Yeah, this is the brown color. We're gonna compare it to that Apple made MagSafe wallet as well. Nothing special about the packaging, $4, don't expect much. First impressions, as soon as I pull it out, it feels cheap. I mean, it feels like almost plasticky. I mean, it's trying to be like a leather. Obviously, it feels like a really bad fake leather, because it is. And let's test it out. This is the Apple made MagSafe wallet. But you can see the design is really, really similar. Feels a lot more premium than this one does, but you can see the design is really close. They have this little slot on the back so you can slide out your cards. Buy tech is on the back. You have the Apple logo on the front. They're obviously not gonna have the Apple logo on the front, but let's test out how many cards actually fit in these wallets. I already know with the Apple made MagSafe wallet, it fits about three cards. Don't put a fourth card because it's gonna be very difficult to get that fourth card out, but three cards, no problem. As you can see, you can slide them out and it attaches to your iPhone like that. This is the Apple version, the Apple MagSafe wallet. And yeah, it works like you would think it would work. $60 though, that's expensive. Let's test out this imitation MagSafe wallet. I actually did a whole video where I compared the MagSafe wallet to a really cheap budget $10 MagSafe wallet. And that one was really cheap. The magnets didn't align on the iPhone. It just was not very good. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But yeah, it wasn't that great and it was about $10. This one's $4, so I have my expectations for this are even lower for this one, but let's see. Can it fit three cards? There's two. Okay, it has two. And the third one, yeah, the third one fits easily. Can we fit a fourth? That is the question. Let's try it out. Fourth card trying to go in. Yeah, that, I mean, I guess you could almost fit a fourth card in there. It gets very tight, almost to the point where if you push it all the way in, it's gonna be very difficult to try to get it out. So I would just stick with three cards, but it fits three cards, no problem, which is just like the Apple made version. And they slide out from the back, let's see. They don't slide out as smoothly as the Apple made version, but it works. Attach it to the back of the iPhone. Yeah, it lines up pretty good. No issues, there you go. And the magnets are decently strong. Not as strong as the Apple version. So actually, $4 fits three cards just like the Apple version. I'm kind of impressed. $4, $60. You're not getting real leather, but man, $4, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this $4 MagSafe wallet. Let's move on, let's see what else we have. This is the magnetic wireless charger and stand. Obviously, this looks 
like the MagSafe charger that Apple sells. That costs, I think, $40. It's a $40 charger, so it's not cheap. This one costs about $5.55, so less than $6. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what you get inside the box. All of these items come with bubble wrap. I mean, they're, they're value, budget accessories. And that's pretty much it. Let's unwrap this. And let's see what you get. It's a USB type A cable to the magnetic wireless charger here. The Apple made has USB type C. The cool thing is it has this little kickstand here so you can actually prop your phone up and watch some content while it's charging, which that's actually pretty cool. Let's compare it to the Apple made MagSafe charger. So you can see the design's a little different. It's, we know what they're trying to do though, silver and white, it's meant to look like this Apple made MagSafe charger but this has some metal on it. This is all plastic. And the Apple made version does not have a kickstand. This one does. Another thing to keep in mind with this magnetic wireless charger and stand, the output is only five watts. So this is pretty much just a basic wireless Qi charger with magnets and a kickstand on it. That's pretty much it. The Apple made MagSafe charger has up to a 15 watt output, so you can quickly or not quickly, but charge up your iPhone faster than this one is. This is very, very slow charging. This one's a little bit quicker. I think it's 12 watts for the iPhone 12 and 13 mini. So yeah, this is gonna charge your phone faster. Costs more though. Let's try out the magnets. You can see it attaches there to the back, no problem. Let's move it to the side so we can test out this kickstand as well. There you go. You got a little kickstand while you charge it. It's slow charging, so this might be great for like the side of your bed. When you go to sleep, you can just quickly put it there. The magnets are pretty strong, but look at that mark it left on my iPhone. It comes off, but man. The magnets are pretty strong. That was a bad idea. I like that it has magnets because you don't have to find where to position your phone, it'll automatically find it there. We have it plugged into power now, so let's go ahead and try this out. There you go, right onto the magnet, it's charging up. Yeah, this is just a regular wireless Qi charger with some magnets so that it lines up and attaches to your phone. But the cool thing is you can stand your phone up. And there you go, you can watch content while your phone charges up. $5.55 for this magnetic wireless charger. Yeah, that's worth it. I mean, if it continues to work. Let's try out this last accessory. Now, we're not gonna compare it to anything because Apple really doesn't sell anything like this, but I thought it was cool. This is a three-in-one charging stand. You can charge, or at least you can kind of keep all of your devices in one place and charge them up. This is nice for like a nightstand in your room because you can just have everything there and charge everything up as well. So this was actually less than $6 as well. You have it in bubble wrap, you have a user manual in there. Let's test this out. All right, there you go. Yeah, this just feels kind of cheap. It feels like it was 3D printed and now it's selling at five below for about five bucks. So there's no cables included, so you would have to use your own cables, but you can see there's a cutout there for the MagSafe charger or the Apple Watch charger that would go there not the MagSafe. And then you have a little hole on the top. I guess you would slide your lightning cable into that hole and it would, you could just attach for the AirPods. And then you have one here for your phone too. So you can put another lightning cable there and it has these little areas in the back where you can slide the cables through. So let's try this out. Okay, let's try this out now. I have them all plugged in. We'll start with the iPhone. Let's take them all off. They'll just come right off. Let's try the iPhone first, okay. It's charging, there you go. Uh, the AirPods now, AirPods 3. It's charging up too. And now the Apple Watch. There you go. You just need to supply your own cables, but this kind of puts everything organized in one place. You don't. You just plug them in at the end of the day and you're set. It's a little wobbly, but it's less than $6. Like they have some of these available on Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks. Those are way better quality, but this is literally like five bucks. So what did you expect? So I'm actually really impressed 
with these accessories. Like I thought, I didn't expect much from them. Magnetic wireless charger, worth it for five bucks. Four dollars for a magnetic wallet that works with the iPhone that has MagSafe. I think that's worth it. And this five dollar kind of three in one charging station as they call it, it does what it says it's gonna do. It's gonna hold all your devices, all those devices as pictured there and it's gonna charge them up. So it works, Five, about $5 for that too. I would say this is worth it. Five below, if you're looking for just some really cheap accessories for your gadgets, I would definitely recommend Five Below. I'll leave a link to as many of these things as I can. Obviously they're at an actual store, so I can't leave an actual online link to them. I'll try. So look for that in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos, and I'll see you on the next one.